Hello, St. Luke's family. The day of Pentecost has come. And as it was 2,000 years ago, uh, today we still look for and celebrate the Spirit's coming among us. Today, our worship service is led by Bishop Allende. Uh, this video here is announcements and prayers that we have for today, but the main service is on another link, which you can find in an email that was sent, or by going to the Northeastern Ohio Synod YouTube channel, and you can find it there. In our announcements today, St. Luke's will continue at-home worship through at least mid-June, and Council is looking to introduce some in-person worship along the way. Um, at the same time, we'll continue to have virtual services. We're also watching trends and recognize that keeping each other healthy is our number one priority in this time. I want to thank the confirmation class who did some tremendous social distance weeding this weekend. Uh, also, Synod Assembly, which normally would have been in June, and this year has a bishop's election, has been postponed until at least August or perhaps September of this year. Bishop Allende has graciously uh, decided to continue as bishop until the election time comes. This week, our nation crossed 100,000 uh, deaths due to COVID-19. So in our prayers today, uh, uh, please keep all those families affected in so many ways, but particularly those families who have had loved ones who have died from that. In our prayers today, also keep uh, Barb and Bob Frisso. Barbara fell last week and has some vertebra in her back that were broken. Uh, please pray for comfort in this time, also as they uh, try to figure out next steps for her. Jill Schwartzbeck will be having a cyst on her wrist removed on Thursday. Prayers to her for that procedure. Kathy Rupp is moving on Monday. She'll be moving to the Gables in Green, which is closer to her family. Um, and prayers for adjustment for her to those new surroundings. Sasha Walker and family are expecting their baby to be born today or tomorrow. And so prayers for health for Sasha and for the new little one welcoming into the world. And also a happy second birthday to Gavin uh, on this weekend, on uh, May 30th. We are glad to be able to say that Gene Trepto is able to return to his room after several weeks on the COVID floor of his nursing home. We give thanks that he has not shown any serious symptoms uh, from the virus. God be with all of you as you go through this week, recognizing the Holy Spirit and bringing forth gifts in you that uh, you are able to share with the world. Thank you for the ways that you follow God through this time. Go in peace and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.